I want to tag this puppy up. So what I want to do is open up my mechanical project hyphen 08. And I want to go down to my ceiling plan level one. And here's the problem. We've been looking at this all wrong. We need the ceiling plan so we know how high our ceiling is and we need to know where to put our diffusers and we need to know where we're going to put maybe some of our equipment so we're not over a hard ceiling. But everything's backwards. Generally, I don't drag a reflected ceiling plan onto a sheet. I drag the actual floor plan. So if we scroll up to HVAC floor plans, let's double click on level one. Notice our hidden line configuration is going to change the way it should because we're kind of looking down on it. This duct's at a higher elevation than this duct. What I want to do though is I want to create a call out of this whole area. So I'm going to go to my view tab. I'm going to click call out. Now I'm going to pick a window around this whole area right to about here. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Now I'm going to double click on my call out bubble. Don't double click on this, but make sure you double click right on the bubble itself. Perfect. Now what I'd like to do is in our properties, I want to scroll down till we find where it says mechanical plan. Click this for the view template and let's select none. Let's click OK. Now what I want to do is change my scale from 1 to 100 to 1 to 50. Notice our flex duct scales down and everything kind of scales accordingly. I want to come in here now and tag this diffuser. So on my quick access toolbar, I'm going to click my tag button right here. I'm going to come down to my diffuser and I'm going to hover over it and I'm going to pick it. I'm going to hit escape a couple of times. Now let's take a look at what these numbers are. I'm going to select my diffuser. And if I scroll down a little bit, I can see that my flow is 235. There's my flow. And if I scroll down even further, I see my mark is number one. So what I'm going to do for my mark is I'm going to type a capital D hyphen one and hit apply. I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my tag by category button again. This time I want my tag kind of out here. So I'm going to click on leader. I want it to be a free end. Make sure it says free end. So I'm going to pick a point here. Pick a point here. I'm just going to land it out here. It knows it's number two, but it doesn't know to put a D2 in it. So if I select the tag itself and I click on the number two, notice that I can make that edit right here as well. So I'm going to type in capital D hyphen two. And I'm going to hit enter. So each of my diffusers, I'm going to calculate the flow. And I'm going to calculate the number that it is. Awesome. So what I want to do now is I'm going to come down here. I'm going to click tag again. I'm going to uncheck leader. I'm going to come to my main branch. I'm going to click there. I'm going to click there. So now I can put tags on all of my piping. Notice that that's a diameter. We keep the diameter because you cannot tell in plan if it's square or if it's round. Now, of course, we can still tag it. This tag kind of just sits there, but now if we click on leader, free end, I can pick a point here, pick a point here, pick a point right there, and I'm going to hit escape a couple times. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this 275. I'm going to click on edit type. In the leader arrowhead, I'm going to click the drop down. We can put any arrowhead we want on it. So I'm going to go to arrow filled 15 degree. I'm going to click apply, click OK, hit escape a couple times, and that's dimensioned. Now, also, I don't want to see my floor hatch pattern that's in the architectural model. So I'm going to type VG for visibility graphics. I'm going to scroll down to where it says floors, but my patterns, I'm going to click on override. I'm going to uncheck visible. I'm going to click OK, click apply, then I'm going to click OK. That looks a lot cleaner. Now I want to come up here and I want to label my equipment. 
So I'm going to click on my tag by category. Now I'm going to grab my VAV1. I want a leader. I want a free end. I'm going to pick a point here, pick a point here, and I'm going to pick a point here. That's about as bad as you can get. So I'm going to select VAV1. I'm going to click the drop down. Let's at least get rid of the box. So notice we have two choices. I'm going to go standard, but still that's a little bit big. So what I want to do is I want to click on edit family. I'm just going to select this label. I'm going to click edit type and my width factor. I'm going to type 0.8. I'm going to click apply, click OK. Now I'm going to load it back into the project. I'm going to overwrite the existing version. That looks a little better, but I'm going to select the tag. And I'm going to click edit type. And I'm also going to put a leader arrow head on it. Arrow filled 15 degrees. Apply. OK. Hit escape. Now let's go up to our roof floor plan. Of course, we're going to tag this big boy. First, I'm going to click on tag by category. I'll tag in AHU1. Have to do the same thing because it's a slightly different tag. So I'm going to click the drop down to standard. Notice that it's going to change it. It's going to put the arrowhead on it. It's going to get rid of that box. What I'm going to do to tag this is I just want to tag how high it is. So I'm going to go to my annotate tab. I'm going to go to spot elevation. I'm going to pick a spot right here. I'm going to go down to here. I'm going to leader this in like that. Hit escape a couple of times. So there we go. This is how you tag up a plan.